do 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 god henry your apartment just gets more and more horrifying now i have to look at this bloody bath every time i come in here god why don't you clean man Hello, this is Henito, and today we are back in Simon Till 4. We are in the apartment building now. There's some kind of a ghosty boo around here. Uh, I don't think we've explored everything in this area. There are cages, oh yeah, there are cages, so definitely. I want to leave those alone for now. Oh, hello, you're an old woman. Sorry about this. Oh my gosh. Well, that broke my pendant, so... Sad about that. I know that doesn't kill them, but it just makes me feel good, okay? Right, so... We have got... I guess I know you can't use it here. Shut up. Is there no way to examine them? Okay, anyway, we've got... The key to a locker on floor one and we've got the key to the superintendent's room so that's where we are going henry you can look at this doll all you want but as i've already said i've been warned about what this doll does and i'm not picking up you can eye that doll up all day i am not going to pick it up okay unless i get really distracted and just press you know and just press a on it by accident or something like that but that's not going to happen because i am on my game hello right okay so we've got a key that i think goes to one of these no maybe uh, have we not? Oh, okay. Had to actually use it. That's fair enough. Oh, okay. I love you, Rachel. Mike. It's filled with love letters from Mike to Rachel. Oh. Nothing useful then? Just love letters? Okay. Right, what's this? Shut door. Is this where the superintendent's room was? No. Must have been on the other side, because I remember it was one of the first doors we saw. Haha, <laughs> here it is. Let me in. Let's see what this weirdo is all about. I do not trust the superintendent. To be honest, though, I don't trust anyone, so... It's it's not rare. It's a red box. Man, this thing really stinks. It's practically bringing tears to my eyes. Oh my god, it's the umbilical cord, isn't it? He said he had an umbilical cord, didn't he? And this is it. Okay, so... I don't know what you want to do about that, Henry. You don't want to take it, apparently. Fine. Oh, he's got a red note in his tray so i got red paper just red paper with nothing written on it yeah we'll stick it under our own door because that makes sense right the torn piece of red paper uh just torn red paper hmm i wonder if there's significance in the fact that one is torn and one's not who knows Found by Nurse Rachel. Return it to room 302 together with the part. Her boyfriend Mike tore off. What? Okay, room 302, got it. There's a key for room 302. Yes, got the apartment keys. Keys to each apartment in the building. Actually, it looks like 303 is missing. Well, we all know who lives in 303, don't we? It's poor Eileen. Okay, so we can't do anything with his smelly box. Got keys. 
we know that Rachel was missing something. What's with this? Why is his kitchen in a cage? Many questions, many questions about this. How does he eat? How does the man cook his food? If indeed he eats, why are there bars in his apartment? I mean, I know this is the other world. It's not a, it's not a, you know, proper representation of a place. It's a... Hello, diary? It's a diary. The red box seems even stranger today. It's giving off a terrible smell. It's disgusting, but I just can't throw it away. It must have been around 30 years ago. That young couple was living in the apartment, but one day they just suddenly disappeared. Ran off just like thieves in the night. I don't know why. It must have been money trouble, or maybe they got themselves into some kind of danger. The problem came after that. They left their newborn baby when they took off. I even found the umbilical cord. I called the ambulance right away and I heard the baby survived, but I don't know what happened to him. Although a few years later, I often saw a young kid hanging around the apartment. One day he just stopped coming by. But now that I think of it, I'll bet he was that abandoned baby. It's a horrible story. Abandoning a newborn baby? That all happened in room 302. And the umbilical cord I found there, well, I still can't get myself to throw it away. Oh my god. The superintendent is at fault for everything. He kept a piece of Walter Sullivan, because I'm guessing the baby was Walter Sullivan. And um, that physical link with the apartment building is uh, what allows Walter to continue his work, I'm guessing. I'm probably completely wrong, but that was just, that was just my guess. Okay, so now I've got all these keys, except for room 303, so that means I should be able to go in every room I want, right? Right? Ooh! I didn't expect that to work. If I'm honest. Kitchen, lovely kitchen. Got anything in the fridge? Nah. Got anything useful for me? Food, money, first aid, bullets. Actually, I'm more interested in first aid, if you wouldn't mind. First aid would be nice. Hello. It says, my darling's number. And there are some numbers that look like a phone number. Will you press these numbers? Um, do I want to call a mysterious number? Uh, sure. Go ahead, Henry. Have yourself a nice chitty chat. Phone's ringing somewhere? No? It sounds like it's in here, but... Oh. Red kit, cool. Uh, there's a nurse's uniform, the name on it says Rachel. Um, why, why, why the drums? <laughs> oh my god. No, it's a half-naked man, that's the most awful thing I've ever seen. Go away. Go away. You are... I... Ooh, you... Oh my god. You're just, you're just not going to leave me alone now, are you? Oh my god, you are trash. Go away. Oh, oh I need to... Oh god, I know what I need to do. Excuse me, sir. We have business. If you are going to persist in such behaviours, then I have no choice. No, don't. Oh my god, what are you doing? Get off! Oh my god, you absolute psychopath. How dare you nibble on Henry! 
No. Yeah, let me. Use the. No, don't eat me. Stop it. You are disgusting. And a bad dresser. Dungarees are. Oh. Why can't I down you? I want to use the stupid sword on you. I'm guessing I just can't use the sword on him. Oh my god. This is no Henry tank controls! Why are you doing this Henry? Tank controls. Oh my god. I'm gonna... You get off, get off me, get away from me. I'm gonna have a friggin' heart attack in a minute. Come on, that telephone must be somewhere. Where is it? No, 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 no. Go away, go away. Oh my god. Absolute turd. Oh. Right, I'm going home to heal. That wasn't fair. Right, okay, back we are. Trying to find a stupid telephone. I'm guessing it's over this side of the apartment. It's not over here, but I'm going to look anyway. Because I want to see if I can get any stuff. Or, or Dungaree Man shows up to give me a bad time. Hello? Oh. Oh, it's just you. That's fine. How you doing? Ah, oh, that's nice. I'm glad to hear that you're well. Oh my god, there are loads of you. Well... You're very easy to deal with compared with Mr. Ghost, who's a bit of a pain in the butt, to be honest. God, Henry. The tank controls in this are sometimes just all over the place, seriously. Just randomly decide that they want to go in the other direction. Okay, so there's nothing in here. That phone is going to drive me bananas. We need to find it. Excuse me? Scraping noises are not welcome here. I haven't recovered from uh, Silent Hill 2, thank you very much. Which was the last game that had scraping noises in it. That, ugh. Well, you all know why there's scraping noises in Silent Hill 2, I assume. And if you know, then you know. Okay, so this is a bust. Uh, oh. This cordless fluorescent is giving off an eerie glow. Ah, powered by nightmares. Let's go. I love how the developers have made it so that the sound or oh, the telephone could be anywhere, basically. They've made it really vague. Listen. Um, nothing personal, I'm just going to stamp on a few. It's cathartic for me because I just had my butt totally kicked by a ghost. What's this? The furniture seems to be covered with some kind of animal hair. I mean, they've got a cat. Ugh. Alright then, no phone here, that's fine. I'm kind of expecting this phone to actually be attached to the face of some horrific ghost. That's what I'm expecting. Actual telephone? Nah. Probably embedded in the head of... oh my god. Excuse me. Can't hold anymore? It's a model gun. It's totally useless as a weapon. All the guns here are just models. Ooh. Did you just did you just try and honey dick me game with a fake gun? You know, 
it got me excited. I thought maybe I would actually get a better weapon, and then you're like, eh, eh, eh. Oh, hungry boy again. Go away. Seriously, you're the worst. My eyes and skin are so itchy. That stupid cat next door made my allergy go crazy. I was so pissed off, I took my converted model gun and blasted away at the thing. At point blank range. It was way cool. The thing just dropped like a stone. By the way, that revolver that Richard in 207 carries, oh you mean Braintree? It's the real thing. That guy's dangerous. Oh, more dangerous than you, you cat murdering little psychopath. Sorry, but, you know, animal murderers are the worst, can I just say? Absolutely no sympathy for anyone who murders animals. So frankly, I hope you're dead. Okay, off I go. Wow, that sounds closer. Maybe it's up here then, eh? Oh, hi. Oh. I hate ghosts. They are the worst. Mirror, nothing. I break these, no. Okay, love that. Bone, not ringing, fine. Beer bottle, stuff. Furniture in the way. Wow, is that all there is to this apartment? Okay. Right, on we go. Hello! Fuck off! Door shut. Hi. How you doing? Can't hold anymore? Oh, you mean I'm full? What I'm gonna do then, I am going to go away because I've got things to put under my door, apparently. So, excuse me. Right, so I've cut right back on my items. Now I just have the axe, the gun, this sword, and, you know, other sundry materials. Right, what do these say? Let's read the whole one first. I picked up the key that Eileen from room 303 must have dropped. I thought I'd returned it, but she wasn't home. I thought I'd return it, but she wasn't home. I guess I'll give it to the super. Okay, so the super has mm. Eileen's key. I lost the key to Eileen Galvin's room. I've got to find it and bring it back. Let me think. The last place I saw it was... It's ripped here and I can't read the rest. Oh, how useful. Okay, well I'm guessing we'll have to find the other part of that note then. Let's just have a quick check on things. Oh, fucking hell. Hi. Doing? That is... Oh my god. Well, bye then! Not even a word. Now let's check on Eileen. Oh my god, that was creepy. I don't like how he just stared. Looks like Eileen is okay. That's good. That's good. We want Eileen to be okay. What about what about over here? What about our neighbours? How are they doing? Hey, okay, go over there. Couple sitting on the bed together. Kids squatting in the window. What? Okay, well that's not a normal child then. All right. Good to see ya. Pick it up, yep. Yeah. 
there's no one there. Well, we are the ones who ran the number, Henry. Tissues, paintings, it's a painting of a young man. The memo says 107. Okay, so that's the guy who is in 107. He listens to great music. I feel so sorry for him having to live under Braintree. Oh. It's a painting of two adults and a lot of children. Memo says 206. How can they even sleep with so many noisy kids? Besides that, they have to live next to Braintree. I'm sensing a pattern here. This person really didn't like Braintree very much. It's a painting of a man holding a brush. The memo says 202. Self-portrait. Oh, okay. And the nurse is Rachel. On the memo it says 106. My beautiful darling. Lately she's been bothered by a stalker. Really? You don't say. I wonder who's been stalking her. Is your name Mike, perchance, Mr. Artiste? It's a painting of a plump woman. Memo says 204. She's always eating something, but I wish my girlfriend liked to cook like her. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm starting to really dislike you. It's a painting of an old couple. The memo says 304, a nice sweet old couple. Great, so they don't offend you in any way. That's good. It's a painting of a woman holding a cat. The memo says 102. She loves cats too much and missed her chance to get married. I kind of felt sorry for her while she was mourning for one of her dead cats. Oh, you mean the one that the twat blew away? Yeah, I feel sorry for her too. But, uh... You're very, you're very judgmental, sir. What's it? The painting of a man drinking alcohol. The memo says 203. He's so noisy. I wish he would stop all that drinking and fighting. This must be Richard Braintree. The memo says 207. Braintree, that prick. He's always yelling at kids, especially that weird one that hangs around. But he took Mike into his apartment and peeled his skin off, so he's my hero. Okay, I'm getting mixed signals about how you feel about Braintree. It's a painting of a man with a gun. The memo says 101. A gun maniac. He's always coughing from his cat allergy. Yeah. This must be the superintendent. The memo says 5. Sunderland, the superintendent. The super mistakenly thought that Mike was Rachel's lover. It's a painting of a man holding a porno magazine. The memo says 301. That perverted stalker, he got what he deserved. You mean he got his skin peeled off by Mr. Braintree? That's not very nice. It must be the guy who plays video games. Oh yeah, it must be. The memo says 205. He's always shut in his room. He looks like he has lots of weird interests. I heard he tape recorded Mike getting beaten up by Richard. Oh, good. Lots of lovely people living in this building then, huh? Dirty bed. Wardrobe. So suffice to say, this building isn't really a happy family. So I'm guessing he was Rachel's boyfriend. In which case, why was it up to Mike? Um, to, why was it up to Braintree to teach Mike a lesson? Not that anyone should have done anything, but you know. Well, someone should have done something. Hello? Oh good, we've got bats and old ladies, and we've got holes in the wall, that's cool. No, 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 no. Excuse me, can you... Ugh. No. Lady, what are you getting out of this exactly? You sound a little too excited to be putting your hand in Henry. That is... Yeah. Okay, off I go. There's nothing else in here, apparently. Although I still feel those lifts are going to be significant at some point. I know I couldn't pick up stuff in one of them. What's this? Health drink? 
And a bug spray. Take the bug spray. Aerosol insecticide. Effective against certain enemies. Oh, you mean the bugs? Oh, that's not very interesting. So this must be where the... Excuse me. No, can't use it. Okay, well I'm using the right button. <gasps> Did it! Wow, you have such a short window to use that. Amazing. You just stay there for a minute. So that's what that's for, basically. Oh, hello. The bloodstained shirt. There's a torn red paper in the pocket. Oh, cool. I need that. Take it, Henry. Yep, that needs to go under our door then. And then we'll know where Eileen's key is. I'll take that back now. Thank you. What's over here? Oh, the l oh. Well, we want to listen to a man getting skinned, do we? I don't know. If I really do, but okay. Uh, lots of old games, computers, things of that. Clearly, this belonged to the gamer. Uh, you're right, sir. You're having a good day. Is that a bit uncomfortable for you? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't feel at all uncomfortable when you stick your hand into my chest or try and bite my throat. No, we want to take it. Thanks. Bye-bye. Right, so I've put the pesticide away because I don't think that's really useful right now. If I find a use for it, then we'll get it back out. What's this? It's so bloody, it's hard to read. Rachel, love you always. Watching window, protect you with love, Mike. Okay. Hmm. Well, all right then. Is uh, is water still out here? Yeah, water's still out here. No, we don't need to see that again. Once is enough, frankly. Right, let's listen to this horrible, horrible audio tape then, shall we? And now the news. No, I don't do that. How do you like that, you sick little freak? You had it coming to you. His clothes are disgusting. Get him out of my sight. I know. It'll be perfect to wrap his body in. Hold it. You! Hold it. I think you I snooping around again? Myself. Get your ass out of here before it. you Hold really it. piss me Hold off! It. Hold it. I think I'll keep that one for myself. Hold it. I think I'll keep that one for myself. Huh. Okay, so... It sounded like a woman was there as well. I'm guessing that was Rachel. But who knows. So they all gathered together and they killed Mike, who was um, apparently Rachel's stalker. How's Eileen doing? She's not here! I can't see her. I wonder if something happened to Eileen. Mm. She keeps coming and going though, that's the thing. Anyway, I think we've run out of time now, so... Yeah, we found a lot of stuff in this episode. Um, in the next one, we're going to continue exploring the apartments and, yeah, learning more about what the heck is, is going on. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again very soon. Bye.